This topic's a bit controversial. It's the problem with before and after pictures in eating disorder recovery. <laughs> if you've seen mainstream reporting on eating disorder recovery, you've probably seen the all too common before and after pictures. The before picture tends to be someone who looks emaciated and the after picture as someone at a healthier weight. Often these pictures will come with an empowering story of someone's recovery journey and that's great, it's something that should be celebrated. For me personally, seeing the before afters repeatedly made me prolong asking for help. You've probably seen these photos pasted onto someone's Instagram, maybe in the Eating Disorder Awareness Week, that's when everyone posts them and I try and avoid that. For me, raising awareness for eating disorders is so important. So it might sound weird that I dislike these posts. And while I understand that it's great to be proud of your weight gain in eating disorder recovery, there's so much more left to each person's story. Appearance only says so much. If we want to send accurate and responsible messages to what it is like to struggle with an eating disorder or what eating disorder recovery looks like, before and after pictures can't convey the whole story. In fact, sometimes provide fuel for those who are still struggling. Many leading eating disorder charities have actually warned people in recovery to not share these before and after images of themselves. In Eating Disorder AU's guidelines for responsible media coverage, they advise avoiding before and after images, stating that research proves coverage dramatising dangerous thinness can provoke a dangerous race to the bottom among others who are struggling. Photos dramatising thinness in the before photo can lead others struggling to feel as though their struggle is less valid. For me personally, seeing the before afters repeatedly made me prolong asking for help. When I was sick, I wanted to be the before side, emaciated. My disorder wanted me to look like I was on death's door before I could allow myself to recover. There were definitely moments I'd see someone looking emaciated on one of these before photos and convince myself I wasn't sick enough presenting to deserve help. I believe graphic transformation photos are often unhelpful and potentially harmful for those who are still actively battling their eating disorder and almost serve as media amusement for neurotypicals without eating disorders. The truth is, eating disorders span an incredibly wide spectrum of symptoms and specific diagnoses that affect all different body shapes and sizes. Recovery from whatever eating disorder someone might be dealing with does not always mean a change in physical appearance. Another reason before and after pictures don't necessarily prove recovery is possible or they don't really prove anything because focusing on weight fluctuation and physical appearance overlooks the main component, the mental health of those struggling. Just because someone says they're recovered or healthy on social media or just because someone looks recovered does not mean they're struggle free. We cannot forget that eating disorders at their core are mental illnesses that greatly impact someone's emotional and mental well-being. Multiple eating disorder charities say that these pictures do more harm than good. Recovering from an eating disorder is much more than just weight and appearance and you can show recovery as possible in ways that don't reduce the process to a photo. Someone's victory might not look the same as the other person's struggle. Weight restored does not automatically mean healthy or recovered. A spokesman from Eating Disorder Charity Beat says, Exteriors don't reflect interior health, and eating disorders are complex mental health conditions with physical symptoms. A healthy looking weight might mask other destructive tendencies going on, such as purging. The same spokesman from Eating Disorder Charity B also states that they do not support the use of images of severely emaciated bodies in the media whilst discussing eating disorders which they all do anyway. The media doesn't cause eating disorders, but the media can strongly influence attitudes, beliefs and actions, they said. Sometimes I think that posting before and after pictures in recovery is just a sign that the individual is still hanging on to their eating disorder. Whilst it's okay to look back and see how far you've come, it's important to check with yourself who's in control. Those who've had an eating disorder all know that they thrive on competition and we all know deep down we all want to be seen as the sickest. That's how eating disorders thrive. Hence why the before photo being a disguise of, oh look how far I've come is kind of bullshit. Like how do you know who's in control? Is it your eating disorder wanting to prove how sick you are or is it your recovered self admiring your growth? It's like so difficult to know. In my opinion, all before and after pictures do is extend the incredibly harmful myth 
that in order to be sick, you have to look thin. To reinforce this idea, you have to be five stone to have an eating disorder is bullshit. It's harmful to yourself and it's harmful to others in recovery. Given the competitive nature of this illness, seeing someone with the classic physical symptoms of an eating disorder can reinforce the misconception that anyone with an eating disorder must look sick in order for their illness to be considered valid. This causes the I'm not sick enough to recover state of mind. Eating disorders are already really good at telling us that we're not sick enough. If we continue to show these images, it fuels the message our eating disorders already tell us, I don't look that sick. Obviously, I'm not sick enough to need treatment or support. Here's the thing though, I feel like before and after pictures can be amazing. It depends on what you're comparing. I'd love to see more before and after photos of faces where you can vividly see like a pair of lifeless eyes compared to like eyes that are full of life and brightness. I'd love to see the benefits of eating sort of recovery without its focus being on weight. Although I can see how others might think, well, weight is quite a major part of eating sort of recovery and it feels like one of the biggest parts to us. So I do, I do understand how you'd want to share your growth but again how do you know who's in control but we can't just focus on the surface level consequences of eating disorders because it conveys a false reality but it is my firm belief that we all have the right to tell our story honestly and our own discretions or if that means sharing an emaciated photo of yourself that is up to you. While it's important to be sensitive to others' vulnerabilities, it's just as crucial to allow ourselves to be vulnerable and honest. Eating disorders are deadly illnesses. We shouldn't feel the need to sensationalise eating disorders in order to convince people to take them seriously. I challenge all of us to think critically about how these images portray eating disorders and continue to work towards a culture of a greater understanding of these illnesses beyond the superficial. Never ever compare yourself to these individuals posting these photos. Your eating disorder is valid and you deserve recovery regardless of your weight or habits. The whole goal behind recovery is normalcy. Never lose sight of that.